Yeah. 
presence of God. Waiting on you. Father, like a deer panted for the water. Waiting on you. Our hearts crying for your presence. Waiting on the Lord. We're longing for you. Waiting on you. tonight Lord we prepare the way for you Lord we prepare the way for you that you be glorified tonight as we worship you this new year oh God I pray your name will be glorified your name will be lifted oh God there is none like you there's none that compares to you Lord you're worthy of praise you're worthy of honor and worthy of glory Lord I bless your holy name I exhort you Lord I pray tonight to visit us in a mighty way as I lift up your name I pray you be glorified you be lifted oh God I pray none other shall be lifted but by you oh God I give you praise, I give you honor, and I invite you to this place, to this temple of worship in the name of Jesus. I pray this in Jesus' mighty and precious name. Hallelujah. Glory to God. I want to welcome you that are joining me tonight for a great night of Happy New Year. Praise and worship extravaganza. It's going to be awesome. I look forward to having a great time worshiping and praising the Lord because the Lord is good, is worthy to be praised. So tonight we got some great songs coming up. For those who are online, I invite you and I ask you to kindly invite your friends to join us so we can have a good time of worship and praise in the name of Jesus. Hallelujah. God bless you. Thank you, Lord. Hallelujah. We got some really amazing songs tonight of praising God for a long one hour. So we got to be blessed in the Lord. Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus.
praise the Lord. Tonight is New Year. Happy New Year, everybody. I want to invite you all to this great worship tonight. We're celebrating a new year. 2022 is here. Happy New Year. I know you all celebrated yesterday. Some of those in America and Europe are celebrating today. But it is New Year here, and we want to praise the Lord as we worship the Lord. Invite your friends to join us tonight that we can be blessed together in the name of Jesus. Some great songs of praise as we usher in the new year in the name of Jesus. Hallelujah. God bless you as you watch this and may the Lord renew your strength and prepare your way. Prepare you for a mighty year in the name of Jesus. Our God is good. He's a good God. I will sing my praise unto you, my Lord. And I will shout and dance to you, for you have been my help from now till ever.
has the final say. To this worship tonight as we praise the Lord. Happy New Year, anybody watching me tonight or today or this morning. i happy to see you and I pray that the Lord bless you with a wonderful new year full of blessings and grace and mercy and his presence full of all kind of victories in the name of Jesus. Hallelujah. We start today and the year with praising the Lord because he's worth your praise. He's worth your praise. Get ready church. Put your hands together. Hallelujah. Talk to Brother Christian, what do you have to say? So, now? Sir, my testimony big. 
You must hear it. Okay, hurry up, hurry up, hurry up. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. Hey, hey. Hey, hey. Hurry up, daddy. So my testimony like this. I sleep. I wake up. Okay. My stomach started doing me feel, 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 feel. It's a new year that the Lord has made. But I welcome you to praise the Lord with me. As we rejoice for what he has done for he is a good God. As we rejoice for the goodness of the Lord. They don't close. Thank you no, Jesus. They never close. Ah, they are it? just about to start. Mm. Ah, was it time now? Time never go. Ah, what time never go now? Why they go close? What? It's not my fault though. Ah, ah. It's going to be a great year of praising the Lord. Don't be late for your appointment with the Lord. Always be in time and on time for God to bless you. Do not miss your blessing this year. Be in the right place at the right time, strategically play, praise, uh, placed and prepared for your blessing because God is going to do some mighty work this year. I am prepared. I'm starting the year on the right note, right foot, praising Jesus. The best thing I know how to do is to praise him through the storms, praise him in the good times and the bad times, knowing he's a good God. And he that has done it again for me, will do it again for you and for all of us as we continue to praise him and to worship him. Hallelujah. Come on. Come on. Come on. I will praise you, Lord. 
Lord for your grace on my life. You have blessed me, oh Father. Winner. Now I dance like a winner. Man. I will praise you, Lord, for your grace on my life. You have blessed me, oh Father. Now I dance like a winner. Oh, I will praise you, Lord, for your grace on my life. You have blessed me, oh Father. Now I dance like, like a winner. Man. I will praise you, Lord, for your You are a winner in Jesus' name. Winner man in Jesus' name. You are victory. No defeat in Jesus' name. Protection in Jesus' name. Health in Jesus' name. When you see me dance, I dance like a winner man. When you see me dance, I dance like a winner man. When you see me dance, I dance like a winner man. When you see me dance, I dance like a winner man. When you see me step, I step like a winner man.
come on, praise the Lord, praise the Lord, praise the Lord. Happy New Year, everybody, those that are joining me tonight and this morning, and those that are going to watch in the future. I want to welcome you to 2023. Hallelujah. We made it. 2023, we're here. We're praising the Lord. I'm praising the Lord for the goodness of the Lord. I don't know about you, but the Lord has been good to me. He saw me through the storms of last year. Many were the storms, many were the storms. Many were the trials of the righteous, but the Lord God delivered them from them all. So I thank the Lord for delivering me from all my trials and temptations. I thank the Lord for delivering me from the plans of the enemy to destroy my life. I thank the Lord for Catherine Yuguna. God bless you. God bless you too. I thank God for protecting you, for saving you, for keeping you safe and secure from the enemy. We thank God as we praise him. We're thanking him for the goodness of 2022. We know there was a lot of hardships and troubles and pain and sickness and death and defeat. But we that are on this other side, we praise him for his goodness and mercy. We praise him for protecting us. We praise him for giving us another chance to declare his goodness. We praise him for giving us another chance to sing of his mercies forever. To sing of his grace and his mercy and his love. So tonight, I'm just worshiping the Lord. I'm just just doing what I love to do, lifting up the name of Jesus at a time as these when he deserves the glory. When many are drinking and eating and getting drunk and getting crazy, I choose to worship the Lord. Or when many are getting drunk and getting crashes and getting into many kinds of troubles, I choose to be in a safe place, the place of worship. I choose to be in the house of the Lord that I've created right here in my studio that I can lift up the name of Jesus and call him Jesus. He's my provider. I declare that we are nothing without you Jesus without you Jesus I am nothing I'm just a piece of dirt without you we are nothing Lord but with you Lord 
With you, Lord, we shall overcome this year. With you, oh Lord, we shall be victorious in 2023. With you, Lord, I will be victorious. With you, Lord, I will conquer much in Jesus' name. Declare with me, declare with me that with you, Jesus, I will be victorious. With you, Lord, I will be victorious. With you, Father Lord, I'll be successful. With you, Lord, I'll be, oh God, prosperous because you are Jehovah Jireh, my provider. With you, Lord, I'll be healed because you're Jehovah Rapha, my healer. With you, oh Lord, I will be blessed and I'll be elevated in the, in the nation, in the, in the workplace because you are my banner. Jehovah Nisi, I will lift my banner, not be afraid or ashamed to declare of your goodness because you are my everything. You are my everything, Jesus. And now with you, Jesus, we start blessed. We walk into 2023 blessed because everything around you and about you is blessed. <laughs> yeah, come on. My legs are blessed. My head is blessed. Everything is blessed. Everything is blessed. My head
for Jesus. When you live for the Lord, everything about you is blessed. Your hands are blessed because they're the works of God. They are the extension of God on earth. Your hands do the work of the Lord. Your legs are blessed. They carry the gospel of peace. We come in peace. As ministers of the gospel of Jesus Christ, we come in peace. Your legs carry you to the destination. They bring the message of hope to the people in a dying world. People that have lost hope because everything around them is confusion, chaos, defeat, death, murmuring, quarreling, wars and rumors of wars, poverty. But in Jesus Christ, everything is blessed. All other gods are the works of man. But Jesus is the true and the living God. Jesus is the true and the living God. So we worship him tonight knowing that there is no Jesus. There is no other God like him. He is worth your praise. This is Mr. Edwards. Hallelujah. Hallelujah, Jesus. You are. Every other God that works of men. All other gods, they are man made God. Sure is God for Jesus, Jesus, Jesus. There is no other Jesus, 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 there is no other name. Jesus, Jesus, there is no other name. Jesus, 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 there is no other name. Jesus, 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 there is no other name. Na 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 na. Jesus, Jesus, there is no other name. The lily of the valley, there is no other name. Oh, Jesus, 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 there is no other name. You rule over nations, the land and the sea. How I love your name. I'm nothing without you. Jesus, Jesus.
There is no other name. Jesus, 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 Jesus. There is no other name. Jesus, Jesus, Jesus. There is no There is no other name like the name of Jesus. There is no other name other than Jesus. Jesus, Jesus, Jesus. There is no other name. Hallelujah, there is no other name like you, Jesus. So tonight, tonight we worship you because there is no other name. You deserve all the praise and all the glory.
all the days of my life. You set me free to be a vessel of worship. You set me free that I may lift up your name in the sanctuary, in the marketplace. That I may lift your name in the place of worship. I lift your name in the streets. You set me free that I can be a witness of your goodness and mercy, O Lord. I'm free in 2023 that I can worship you, Jesus. Are you free 2023? Are you free to worship the Lord? May the Lord set you free to worship him. May the Lord set us free to be able to lift up our hands with no shame, no doubt, and no fear. That we know that when we worship the Lord, we're worshiping the living God. That we know that is our first calling as Christians. As Christians, our first calling is not to eat and drink and make merry. No, 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 no. 2023, we should not start by eating and making merry. That's okay to eat, but we should worship the Lord. We should worship the Lord in the beauty of his holiness. Begin the year with worshiping the Lord, because that's your calling. That's my calling. And then as we let the Lord have his way in our lives, as we let the Lord have his place in our lives, everything falls in place. And you can lift up those hands and just worship him. And just pray in the spirit. And just pray in the spirit. Pray in the Holy Ghost. Calling upon the name of Jesus. Calling upon the name of Jesus. Calling upon the name above every other name. Speaking of things that are not as though they are. Declaring the goodness of the Lord in the land of the living. Declaring a victory in even in dark places. Knowing that the Lord that you love, the Lord that you know has created you with a calling above every other calling. He has made you as a vessel of worship that you may honor him. Nay, you may honor him all the days of your life. So we begin this year with prayer. We begin with prayer, just worshiping the Lord. Surrounding the Lord with the goodness of his worship. Letting the Lord ears hear that we love him. That we long for him that we we love him more than anything else besides the food and the drink there's one place that nothing can feel and that's the void in our hearts the void for a king the void for a leadership the void for a master and his name is jesus and once he takes his place in your life you're able to live a life of of fulfillment a life of productivity a life of positivity a life that's full of goodness and mercy of god hallelujah so worship him. Mighty advocate, spirit rain. Yeah. 
that do not lead to your destination of where you plan for me to be. I pray, oh God, only lead me to those ways of cool waters, those ways that glorify your name, the ways that lift up the name of Jesus. Lead me by the ways of the cool waters, oh Lord. Lead me by the way of the cross, oh Jesus. Father, I pray, oh God, I, I want to start this year properly. I want to start this year in your temp in the temple of worship, oh God. Calling upon the name of Jesus. Crying and saying, Jesus, have your way. I pray, oh Lord, have your way. I pray, oh God, you order my steps, oh God. I pray you order my steps, oh God, in the name of Jesus. Have your way, have your way, have your way, have your way, have your way in my life, Jesus. If I only be the only one going this way, if nobody else goes with me, Lord, I will still go. If no friends go with me, I will still go. If no family goes with me, I will still go. If no connections go with me, I will still go. If no leaders go with me, I will still go. If no pastors go with me, I will still go. If no bishops go with me, I will still go the way of the Lord. I will still go the way that you lead me. I will listen to your voice, oh God. You are still small voice speaking to me and guiding me and leading me and I will go the way that you lead me. 
help me Lord to be able to hear your voice help us Lord to hear your voice help us to hear your voice oh God that we know which way you're leading us that we know which way you're guiding us help us to hear your still small voice in the midst of the storm help us to hear you calling us to come come unto you help, help, help us to hear you saying come unto me or ye that are weak and heavy laden and I will give you rest help us to hear you saying come unto me or you that are weak and heavy laden and I will give you rest and we shall come and crucify our sins unto the cross I come to and crucify my sins to the cross and I pray Jesus have your way I pray, oh Lord Jesus, have your way in my life. Cleanse my heart, my mind, my mouth. Let my mouth declare the goodness of God. Let my lips declare of the oracles of God. Let my lips declare of the goodness of God. Let my mouth declare of the powerful name of Jesus. And saying there is no other name but Jesus, Jesus, Jesus. There is no other name but Jesus, Jesus, Jesus. Let me sing that song all this year. Let me sing that song till I turn blue. Because there is no other name but the name of Jesus. I know, I know God is not going to be easy. It's not going to be easy. No one told me it's going to be easy. But I know with you, oh God, we can make it. I know with you, God, we shall make it. I know God, them that are caught by the name of Jesus, them that cling on to Jesus, them that hang on to Jesus, them that follow Jesus, we shall make it. Them that declare the goodness of the Lord in the land of the living, we shall make it. Them that declare there is no other name but the name of Jesus, we shall make it. Them that keep on asking and seeking, them that keep on knocking the door, the door shall be open unto them. Hey, them that knock that door, that door of life, oh God, shall be open unto them. We start here praying and declaring and calling things that are not as though they are. Father, I pray, oh God, those dreams and visions of 2022 that were aborted in people's lives, beginning with my life, those dreams that never came to pass that were sent of you, but never came to pass because the enemy derailed our steps. The enemy interrupted our movement. The enemy came and caused confusion. We cast those so called confusions and plans of the enemy out of the way of your people that we can walk through the way. We can walk through your narrow way. We can see the way. Our eyes will be open. We can see your way and we shall walk in it. Father God, this year, oh God, dedication be a year of, uh, of power, a year of divine favor. Oh, Father God, uh, your word says this morning, arise and shine, arise and shine. Oh, thank you, Jesus. Arise, 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 arise. Rise up, O children of God, and shine for Jesus. Lift up your hands and praise Him because He is able. Lift up your hands and declare the goodness of the Lord because He is good. Lift up your hands and declare the goodness of God for He is good. Hallelujah, hallelujah, hallelujah. The word of God says in Isaiah 61. Isaiah 61, this year the Lord has spoken to me and told me this will be a year of divine, divine favor. Year of divine, the Lord's divine favor in my life and the life of them that hearken unto this word. As we hearken unto the voice of the Lord. This year, things that were difficult last year, things that seemed impossible last year, the Lord shall make a way for you where there seems to be no way. It shall be a year of divine favor in the name of the Lord. So the Bible was written, but the Lord spoke to Isaiah and spoke to him in chapter 61 and says this. The Spirit of the, Spirit of the Lord, Sovereign Lord, is on me. Because the Lord has anointed me to proclaim the good news to the poor. He has sent me to bind up the brokenhearted, proclaim freedom to the captives, and release from darkness for the prisoners. Proclaim the ear of the Lord, <laughs> the ear of the Lord's favor, and the day of vengeance of our God. <clears throat> to comfort all who that mourn. <laughs> Hallelujah. To proclaim the ear of the Lord's favor, and the day of vengeance of our God. To comfort all who that mourn. Verse 3 says, And provide for those who grieve in Zion to bestow on them a crown of beauty instead of ashes. May the Lord give you beauty for ashes. 
May the Lord restore those that things you lost last year. And may he give you beauty for ashes. May the Lord restore and restore and refresh in the name of Jesus. Hallelujah. To proclaim the ear of the Lord. And verse 3 says, And provide for those who grieve in Zion. Bestow unto them a crown of beauty instead of ashes. The hour of joy instead of mourning. And the garment of praise. For the spirit of heaviness or despair. There will be called oaks of righteousness, a planting of the Lord for the display of his splendor. They will rebuild the ancient ruins and restore the places long devastated. They will renew the ruined cities that they have been devastated by the generations. Strangers will shepherd your flocks. Foreigners will look and work in your fields and vineyards. Somebody say amen to the word of God. And you will be called priests of the Lord. And you will be named ministers of our God. You will feed of the wealth of the nations. And in the riches of, and in the riches will thy boast. Instead of shame, you will receive a double portion. And instead of disgrace, you will receive an inheritance. You will receive, rejoice in your inheritance. And so will you inherit a double portion in the land. Everlasting joy will be yours. Hallelujah. Glory to God. Glory to God. I have 15 declarations tonight, this morning to declare. The first thing the Lord says is, He comes to you with good news. Good news that he will restore. Good news that he has come to set free them that are bound of the enemy. Good news that you're no longer bound. Good news that the bondage of last year is no longer haunting you. It is a new day. It is a new day. So wake up, oh child of God. Wake up and walk in the power of God knowing that he has given you a new day to rejoice. A new day to lift up your hands. And you just strengthen your weak knees and rise up in the power of the Holy Ghost and get up from your slumber and know that the Lord has called you. In verse 1 says, The Lord says, I have come to bind the brokenhearted. So, those of you tonight or this morning that are counting your losses, hallelujah. them that are counting the losses of last year if you lost somebody if you lost somebody special special and precious to you the Lord says he has sent me to build to bind the broken hearted to come and bind those broken hearts the next thing the Lord has declared this year is he will set the captives free them that are bound by the enemy he has come to open the prison doors to cut the chains that bind you, the chains that tied you to last year, the, the chains that kept you bound in your place of pain, in your place of poverty. He has come to open the prison doors and set you free, that you can spread those hands and rejoice in the Lord and walk forth in your freedom because he has come and this is the day that the Lord has made. I choose to be to be to rejoice and be glad in it and walk out of this prison place in freedom because the chains have been cut. There's no more chains. You're free to lift up the name of Jesus. You're free to worship the Lord. You're free to glorify the name of the Lord. You're free to lift up your hands and praise Him. Because you're no longer bound by the systems of this world. You're no longer bound by the systems of this world. But you've been given the power to declare things that are not as though they are. You've been given the power to call things that are not into life. Declare those things that God promised you last year. But this year, you know, it didn't come to pass. It's time to rise up and begin to speak those things into being. Begin to declare my freedom is here. Get those things back alive in the name of Jesus. Verse 2 says is the ear of the Lord. The ear of the Lord's favor. I pray and I decree that be favor in your life. In every, every place you go, in every door, every place you turn. May the Lord go before you like a mighty consuming fire. Making a way where there seems to be no way. May he crown you with his presence. May he crown you with his favor. That wherever you go, there will open the door for you. Wherever you go, there will be favor because they shall be expecting you. No longer should you be a stranger. 
I'm not going to be a stranger in the house, but you will be a child of God who has been given the power to call things that are not so they are. So I pray that the favor of the Lord may fall before you, may go before you, may surround you, may encompass you. As you go in and go out of the city, the favor of the Lord goes with you. In the city and in the country, may his favor be with you everywhere you go this year. In the name of Jesus, in the name of Jesus. May those doors that were shut last year, may those doors that got shut on you last year, those job opportunities, those business opportunities that did not come through last year, I pray for favor in the name of Jesus. I pray that in 2023, there will be favor in that business idea. That idea that you know that you know that God gave you that idea. I speak favor. I speak life onto that idea in the name of Jesus. I speak the presence of God in that idea. May God Bring life onto that idea that it may begin to grow, it may begin to flourish, you may begin to get ideas to build upon that little idea, that small concept that God gave you, that concept or that creation or that uh, invention that God gave you. May He give you ideas to surround that idea, make it flourish, make it grow in the name of Jesus. And that shall be your door, your door of blessings, your door of prosperity, your door of overcoming poverty, your door of blessing the people around you, your door of touching your family. Oh my goodness, because when God blesses you, child of God, when God blesses you, it's not for you, yourself and I, it is for you and the people that God has given you around you, beginning with your family and then around the people of your community, of your church, start to touch those around you, in your city, in your village, and then as God continues to grow you and expand you, you can touch the, the county, you can touch the province, you can touch the nation, and then the doors of the nation will be open unto you in the name of Jesus. Number five, the vengeance of the Lord. 2023, the Lord will revenge for you. The Lord will revenge for you. The Lord will revenge. Listen to 61, Isaiah 61 verse 2. Proclaim the year of the Lord's favor and the day of vengeance of our God. You don't have to fight anymore. Those things that last year that you know that you are treated wrongly, you know that it was unfair, that you know that somebody did you wrong. Somebody stole from you. Somebody took your idea and went away with it and made money out of it. Somebody did and hurt your family. Somebody hurt you physically. Somebody hurt you emotionally. Somebody broke your heart. Somebody left you stuck in pain, in agony. Some of you single ladies, somebody left you stuck with a child. And now you're raising that child and you're full of anger. You're still full of the pain of raising the child alone. And the father is nowhere to be seen. May the Lord revenge for you this year. May the Lord make this a year of vengeance for you. May you recover what you've lost. May you recover the things that the enemy caused you to lose. The part that you felt, God, I wish I could just kill this person. May the Lord take over your battle and fight it for you. So you don't have to kill anybody. You don't have to hurt anybody. But the Lord will take over your battle and fight it for you. Number six, comfort to them that mourn. Verse two says, and comfort to all who mourn. I pray for peace of God. I pray for comfort of them that have lost a special one. May the Lord comfort you. May the Lord strengthen you. May the Lord give you the grace to continue in this journey of life in the name of Jesus. Hallelujah. Number seven, beautiful ashes. The place where you know that you are afflicted and you are so stuck in the pain of loss, the pain of affliction, and you are clothed in ashes because of despair, because of pain, because of crying, because of misery. May the Lord give you beauty for those ashes. May the Lord restore all your beauty and take away the ashes of last year may the ashes of last year have nowhere to do with you may the 2022 losses and ashes and defeats be stuck and buried in the pit of forgetfulness and may you be clothed with the favor of god may you have the richness of god may you enjoy the beauty of the lord hallelujah and number eight number eight listen to verse three The oil of joy instead of mourning. May he give you joy. Joy to rejoice. The strength to rejoice out. 
the goodness of God that this year is a year of restoration. It's a year of restoration of the things that you lost. And may He give you the joy. May you rise up in the morning with the joy of the Lord. Because the Bible says that the joy of the Lord is my strength. May the joy of the Lord be your strength. May you enjoy the joy of the Lord. May you walk in joy. May you be the joy giver. May you be the one that walks into the office and they say, here comes joy. May you be the one who walks into the business places and people say, here comes the joyous woman. Here comes the joyous man who's always happy. May the joy of the Lord be infectious around you. May people see you and get afflicted by the joy. May that joy rub on people. May that joy jump onto other people. That the joy of the Lord be your, be your, be your logo, be your mantra. That people when they see you, they know you are the joy of the Lord being a bringer. You are the joy bringer of the Lord. Hallelujah, hallelujah. Number nine, number nine. May he give you a garment of praise instead of despair. The garment of praise. May he teach you to worship and praise him. May you be a praising Christian. One who knows how to praise the Lord. Who has to lift up the name of Jesus in every situation. May he give you the joy, the garment, the garment. Be clothed in the garment, garment of praise. There is nothing as powerful as when I discovered the strength and the power in praise. My life got transformed, Miss Catherine. My life got renewed. My life got changed. And now I know the source of my strength is praising the Lord. When you praise the Lord, you connect with God. When you praise the Lord, you connect with His God. And you're able to even connect and ask of Him of those things that others cannot access. Others cannot be able to decree or declare because they're not connected. There is no relationship. You cannot go to a bank and ask to borrow, um, withdraw some money from an account that you have never deposited. You have to deposit into that account and long term deposit, and then on his time of need, you can go and withdraw from the same account. So, when we praise and worship the Lord, we are banking in the Lord, we are putting our wealth, we're putting our time, we're putting our all in all into God's presence. We are depositing into the Godhead that in the time of need we can ask of Him. In the time of need we can ask of Him. In the time of need we can call upon Him and He will give us that which we ask it of. Because we already have a relationship, a relationship. We have a connection. We are related to Him. So when we come to Jehovah God and ask of Him of something, we are not strangers. We are not just a bastard child walking in the bastard through the door asking for stuff. You are a child of God and He knows you by name. In fact, if you have a life of worship, a life of praise and a life of connection to God, if you walk with Him, before you ask of Him, before you speak of your need, He already knows. He already knows. Before you ask Him, Oh God, I need this blessing. Lord, I need money for my child for school, for school tuition. Lord, I need money to go ahead and buy this house or buy this car. I need money to pay the bill before you ask of it. He already knows. Because you have a relationship with him. Number 10, the year of rebuilding. The Lord will rebuild. Listen to verse 4. They will rebuild in ancient ruin and restore the places long devastated. May the Lord restore that thing that was destroyed last year. May the Lord help you uh, recover that thing, rebuild from your losses. If you lost a business idea, if your business got closed due to bankruptcy or due to financial struggles in your nation, may the Lord help you rebuild from that point of loss. May he help you build from those broken stones, a broken foundation. May he give you idea. May he provide the money, the finances. May he provide the workers and the labor force to help you rebuild from your broken, from your rooms of destruction. May he find you at the point where the enemy thought he finished you. May he lift you up and give you the support system, give you the people, the power, the money, the connections you need to rebuild from the place of loss, that your life be changed, your life be renewed by that place that, oh God, will restore you again. Number 11, strangers will come and bless you. May the Lord send strangers your way with your money. May the Lord send people you never anticipated. May he bring people your way that you don't even know them. May there be miraculous finds of treasure in your life this year. May people that do not know you or you don't know them get a conviction from the Lord. May the Lord convict some stranger with some finances, with some, some land, some car, whatever you need. 
May the Lord speak to them in the middle of the night and give them restlessness until they deliver that thing to the child of God that's been praying and crying to God. May he bring people that you never expected, people you don't even know from a far distant land. May they come seeking to find you. That may be bless you, Miss <laughs> Catherine. Miss Catherine, God bless you. Hallelujah, hallelujah. The Mamba uh, 12 says, uh, and he will make us as we live a life of worship and praise. Listen to this in verse 5 and verse 6. Strangers will shepherd your flocks. Foreigners will walk in your field and vineyards. They will come and serve you. People you never knew, never anticipated. People you never connected with in the past. They will come seeking you that they may bless you. They will come seeking you that they may do what the Lord has convicted them to do. They will have no peace until they find you. They will have no peace until they do what that the Lord has told them to do. Because once God commands a blessing unto you, no devil on hell can stop you from receiving it. No devil on hell can stop you from receiving your blessing. No one can stop you. Not your mama, not your friend, not your enemy. Nobody can stop the blessing of the Lord upon your life in 2023. That which the Lord has declared upon you shall come to pass in Jesus' name. It shall come to pass if you remain connected. Remain connected. You cannot deposit. You cannot deposit in Bank of America ten thousand dollars and then go and try to withdraw five thousand dollars from chase bank you have to go to the place of your deposit you have to go to the place you've been sowing you've been sowing and depositing at the time of your need you have to go back to the place of your strength you gotta go to the place you've been stocking up place you've been saving for the rainy day you've been saving your harvest when the time of need comes you go back to the place you've been stocking up and ask of that place to open up open up and bless you open up and feed your children open up and feed you open up and feed you and put fuel in your vehicle open up and bring forth the finances so you cannot come to Jesus and ask him to bless you if you've been investing in the kingdom of the devil kingdom of mammon you cannot you have to come to jesus this 2023 continue or begin to invest in him build yourself up in jesus this year build your strength build your praise put your resources in god begin very small and grow, grow, grow every day in building up your praise building up your worship building up your prayer start like a baby with baby steps then in the time of need in the time of need when you know you need Jesus more than anything when you go to him and call upon him you already have an investment you're not a stranger you have an account your name is written in the Lamb book of life so when you come unto him and say Jesus 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 I need a healing he looks at your at your relationship with him at your account at your storage at your grain yard at your grain storage at the place of your knees praying the place you've been sowing and ripping and sowing and sowing and crying and praying he releases the miracle based on your investment in him based on your connection relationship with Jesus then the blessings come to his children number 13 prosperity wealth of the nations verse 6 and you will be called priest of the Lord and you will be named ministers of our God you will feed on the wealth of the nations and in their riches will you boast hallelujah I receive that for myself receive it for yourself in Jesus name you will be fed by the wealth of the nations may the nations be able to feed you may the nations bless us may the nations feed the children of God number 14 this one is very special the Lord declares that you will have double for your trouble <laughs> Double for your trouble in Jesus name. <laughs> listen, listen, listen. Double for your trouble. Instead of your shame, in Isaiah 51 verse 7, instead of your shame, you will receive a double portion and instead of disgrace, you will receive and rejoice in your inheritance. I repeat, instead of your shame, you will receive a double portion and instead of disgrace, you will rejoice 
in your inheritance. And so will you inherit a double portion in your land and everlasting joy will be yours in the name of Jesus. May you receive a double portion of everything you've been sowing, everything you've been praying and asking God for. I decree a double portion in 2023 in the name of Jesus. And finally, as we close, everlasting joy everlasting joy. May the Lord clothe you with joy. May you be able to rejoice in the name of the Lord. May you be a person of joy because when all this is said and done, when the Lord has blessed you in 2023, when the Lord has remembered you, when the Lord has filled your house with his presence, there's the joy of the Lord shall blow out of your house oh like a water well. There'll be water flowing from everywhere. The joy of the Lord. May the joy of the Lord be your strength in 2023. May the Lord remember you in the name of Jesus. May the Lord fill your presence with his presence. In the name of Jesus. Hallelujah, Jesus. I praise your name. I praise your holy name, Jesus. Hallelujah. Jehovah God, I praise you, Lord. I thank you, Lord. Father, we thank you tonight as we start this year. We give you praise. We glorify your name. As I declare this word to your people, Father God, I pray you will bless your people, you bless your child that's crying unto you, that's calling upon your name. I pray that this year be a year of blessings, a year of restoration, O oh God, a year of freedom for the captives, O oh God. I pray there will be a year of hearing the good news of the Lord from a far distant land. We hear the good news of the goodness of the Lord. <laughs> yes, I pray that this year, O oh God, you restore, repeal the broken hearts in the name of Jesus. I pray for freedom for the captives in the name of Jesus. Them that are bound, set them free in the name of Jesus. Hallelujah. I thank you, Father God, will be a year of favor. A year of divine favor in the name of Jesus. <laughs> you receive your favor. Miss Catherine, receive your favor in Jesus' name. Miss Shalada, receive your kami. Receive the favor of the Lord in your business. May the Lord breathe life onto your business. A fresh breath of life in Jesus' name. May the Lord remember you and open those doors that the enemy closed in 2022. May those doors begin to open. May you begin to receive. I hear the Lord saying, I hear the Lord saying, you will receive some calls from somebody. Somebody who forgot about what promise they made unto you. Somebody made a commitment and they failed you. You will begin to receive calls from a connection that the enemy tried to disrupt in 2022. And this connection is supposed to bless you indeed. But the enemy came and caused confusion and cast blockades. I see blockades, I see roadblocks along the way. I see the Lord opening roadblocks. I see the Lord with, I see some big white roadblocks with orange stripes like in road construction sites. And I see the Lord sending forth a mighty army to clear the way for his children. I see those pillars and concrete and those construction barriers being removed. And I see a crowd of witnesses. I see a crowd of people that are hungry and weary, waiting behind the blockade. And as this blockade begins to be opened, I see the Lord waving on us to come, waving on the crowd that was weary, to come through and come forth this blockade that has kept them away from their destination. And I see a surge of a mighty crowd, and you are in the crowd. You are in the crowd. I see you rushing through the crowd into your blessings, into your restoration, into your restoration, into your recovery. I see God. I see people running like a stampede of people who've been waiting for so long to be fed. A stampede of thirsty people. A stampede of hungry people. A stampede of weary, exhausted people that have been waiting for the blockade to be removed in 2022. And now the Lord has come. Now the Lord has remembered us. Now the Lord has opened the way. The Lord has cleared the path. The blockade has been removed. Walk forth and run forth for your freedom is here. Your freedom is here. Your blessing is here. Your blessing is here. Receive your blessing. Receive your open door. Receive your passport. Receive your visa. Receive your contract. Receive your contract. Receive your agreement. Receive your joint. Receive your marriage. Receive your children back. Receive the adaptation of the child you've been praying for. Receive the restoration of your child back to your home. Receive the child who was who had ran away from home 
see them coming back that open door is releasing a lot of people who've been bound who've been stuck in things of life who've been stuck in situations I see the freedom coming in this year those that are stuck in economic problems I see God changing the tide in 2023 I see the tide reversing and I see freedom reigning in the land I see a white wall of water I see a white wall over waves. I see waves of water. I see waves of water from the ocean. I see like, like the Indian Ocean, the Atlantic Ocean. I see waves of white, what big waves coming towards the shore. Waves coming ferocious towards the storm, towards the towards the shore. And I see them coming. I see them coming to this dry, dry coastland. This dry coastland. This dry land that is thirsty. That is thirsty. The, the earth is so dry, it's cracking. The shores are cracking because it's dry. But this water comes to replenish. They come and now there is plenty. Now there is more than enough for everybody. There is more than enough for all of us to feed. The land is getting replenished in 2023. I see the land getting cooled down from the heat of 2022. I see the land. And as the land begins to prosper, as the land begins to prosper, I see sprouting plants, green plants everywhere, popping everywhere. And I see God saying, child of God, be hungry no more. I see God saying, child of God, struggle no more. Receive your blessing. In the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus, receive your blessing. As I close, receive your blessing. As I close, receive your blessing. In the name of Jesus. Receive, receive your inheritance, receive your freedom, receive your open door in the name of Jesus. Declare that this year I will not begin with the devil, I begin with Jesus. I will not begin with getting drunk, I begin with being drunk in the Holy Ghost. I will not begin with drinking and sleeping around, I will begin with praising Jesus and lifting up his name. That way my ear can be ordered, my steps can be ordered, my ear can start the right way. I can have my path ordered by Jesus Christ, not the devil, not the president, not the chief, but Jesus Christ. Order my steps. Hallelujah, Jesus. Hallelujah. Lord, and as I speak these things to your people, I pray, begin with me. As your servant, oh God, start with me. As I've declared those words prophetically, I pray, Lord, begin with me because I am hungry. I am thirsty, Lord. I need you more than ever before. I never have enough of you. Never have enough of you. So, Lord, as you, as you, as you bless your people. As you remember your people, Lord, do not forget me, your voice. Do not forget me, your servant. Oh, Lord, remember me. In the name of Jesus, in the name of Jesus, hallelujah. Amen. overflow in peace may the grace of God be with you I see a woman cry I see some women crying because of the pain of raising a child without a father I see women, a few women, and I see a crowd of multitude of women. There's a lot of them. A lot of young women, probably in the 20s and 30s. In so much pain, they carry the heavy load of 2022. The load of last year almost killed you. The burden of trying to take care of all these needs, raising these children, and their father has walked away. The father doesn't even know these children anymore. He's not even involved or engaged in their lives anymore. 
and I see the Lord saying, I see your tears. I see the Lord saying, I hear the Lord saying, I see your tears. And this 2023, behold, I will do a new thing. I will wipe those tears. I will wipe those tears and I'm gonna do something very special. I will wipe your tears and restore. I will restore what you have lost. I will restore your dignity. I will restore. Those that have been laughing at you in the community, you'll be laughing at them as you go to the bank to deposit what the Lord has given you. I see God saying, I will restore you financially. I see the Lord saying, woman, my child, I have not forgotten you. I will restore you. I will restore you financially. I see God saying, I will heal your emotions. The emotions that have caused you to almost go to the grave because of depression and anxiety. I will restore. I will heal you from that mental destruction that the enemy has created and caused. I see the Lord saying, oh, I know you're lonely. I see the Lord saying that lonely heart, I will comfort you. I will send forth a helper that will help you along the way. I will send a comforter along the way. That way there be no more empty void in your spirit, in your life, in your body for being left alone. That I will send a helper. And only the Lord knows what helper you need. And so he will meet you at the point of your need because your need is very unique. It's not the same as your neighbor, not the same as your friend. He will meet you at the point of your need and make your life different. He will restore you like the lily of the valley. I hear the Lord saying, I will water you at the point of your dryness, at the point of your dry, broken skin, so dry and scaly because of troubles and pains and suffering and denying yourself that sometimes you only had enough food for your kids and you slept hungry sometimes you had so much trouble in the family you couldn't even eat you slept hungry I see the Lord saying I will fill your cup to overflow I see the Lord saying tonight this year I will remember you in the next few days, next few weeks and months, you'll begin to, to see and hear my fulfilling of the word of God. Hallelujah. Finally, finally, I have to close. Finally, I I don't know why the Lord loves to touch his daughter so much tonight. This year is gonna be a year of a lot of healing. I see a woman crying to God like the woman with the issue of blood. I see a woman so weak, almost bones, very weak. This could be physical or could be spiritual but very weak, almost to the point of bones. And she's been suffering with this disease that only the Lord can touch and heal. And many have feared that the disease could take her to the grave, could take you to the grave, if you're listening or watching me today or the days to come. Remember, child of God, the Lord has remembered you. And the Lord says to you, like the woman with the issue of blood, the Lord is saying, draw unto me, draw near unto me. And just all you need to do is touch, touch the hem of my garment. Touch the hem of my garment. The Lord is saying, just come close to me. I cannot bless you if you're on the outer court. I cannot bless you if you're on the outside of the court of worship. The Lord is saying, come unto me, O ye that are weak and heavy laden, and I will give you rest. And he says, just touch, all you need is touch the hem of my garment, and believe as you touch that your healing is coming from the master's hand. And the Lord says, if you believe, the miracle of healing is your portion in 2023 in Jesus' name. Just believe and then draw unto me. 
come to me against all prejudices, against all negativity, against all that spoke weird negative things and told you this is impossible. Come unto me knowing that I am he that died on the cross, says Jesus. Come unto me knowing that I'm no longer in the grave, says Jesus. Come unto me knowing that I'm risen up above in heaven and I'm on the footstool of heaven. I sit in the high place at the right hand of the God the Father head, and I am praying for you. I am praying for you and I know you by name. Just come and enter into the inner court and the blessings of the Lord and the healing of the Lord is your portion in Jesus' name. I have to close. I have to close. I only had two hours. Oh, hallelujah, Jesus. Sometimes when the Lord begins to flow in the prophetic, it's really hard to stop. But I know that the Lord has blessed somebody tonight. Saying, I will restore. I will restore that which the canker worm has stolen from you. I will restore that which the canker worms and the grasshoppers and the caterpillars have eaten from your grain storage. Joel chapter 29. I hear the Lord saying, I will restore that which you lost in 2023. So call upon me in the morning. Seek me when you can find me. Seek me while I'm still here, listening and waiting for you. Call upon me and let me know what you will. And the Lord says, I will restore that which the enemy has stolen, that which the canker worms ate from you, that which the grasshoppers ate from you, that which the ugly worms came and ate from your storage, your granary, the Lord says, I will restore in the name of Jesus. And now we can see this rejoicing, knowing the Lord has given us the blessing of the Lord. God bless you tonight. If you have received a blessing, say amen. If any of the word that the Lord gave tonight is for you, receive it in Jesus' name and say amen. Knowing that our God is good. Happy New Year, everybody. <laughs> Happy New Year. Happy 2023. May God bless us. May God bless you. May God keep you as you rejoice. Remember the key to your blessing. How you get this blessing to come to you and be sealed. How you seal your blessing is not to do not deposit your money at Bank of America and go and write a check at Chase Bank. That check will bounce. Make sure you invest in the Lord in 2023. Invest in the good times in the Lord by worshiping the Lord, by praising the Lord, by praising him, by praying. Invest in the Lord on your time of need, in your hour of need, when you need something from God, you can call upon the Lord from your storage, from your savings. You've saved for a long time. So now when it's your time of need, you already have more than enough already stored up for you. You just call upon the Lord and ask of him and he will give you and the nations as an inheritance to you and you can praise your way to the bank. Hallelujah.
Great 2023. May the Lord bless you as you begin your year. Good to see Shiromu Shiri. God bless you. As you start your year, may the Lord bless you. If you have not listened to the message, go back and listen. It's a wonderful, powerful message from the Lord. I know somebody was blessed this morning, tonight. God bless you. As you start off a year with praise and thanksgiving to the Lord. Yeah. Hallelujah. Glory to God. You are the biggest. Strong you are the strongest. I want to hear this song before we before we close. I need to hear this. Let's see if I can find it real quick before we close. I let go out on this one. Get ready, church. Put your hands together. You gotta hear this. This is Joe Praise and uh, Masichinwa. It's a new song. I love it. He says, "Come on, see. Come on, see." Talk to Brother Christian, what do you have to say so, now? My testimony is big. You must hear it. Okay, hurry up, hurry uh -huh. up, hurry up. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. 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 Hallelujah.
Hey, hey, hey. Hey, hey. Oh, oh. So, hey, hey. So, hey, hey. So, hey, So, my testimony like this. Uh -huh. I sleep. Uh -huh. I wake up. Okay. Uh -huh. My stomach started doing me feel, 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 feel. Uh -huh. God, what happened? Uh -huh. I said, God, I'm hungry. God said, my son, my son, my son. Look water on the table. Uh -huh. Drink it. I drink it. I'm a little fool. Uh -huh. <laughs> that one. So, so that's the testimony. What? Well, children of God, praise the Lord. Yeah. Yeah. God bless you. May he do it again for you in Jesus' name. May he do you amazing, great things in this 2023 in Jesus' name. I love you all. Bye. God bless.